What's going on guys, Aaron from Top Tier Gaming here and today I'm coming at you with the combo video for Live Twin Sprite. This is the exact same list that I took to a top 4 finish at the recent Houston, Texas Regional. And yeah, a lot of people were asking for the combos and I'm just going to show a few of like the standard like 1 and 2 card combos to show you guys what sort of boards I am attempting to build in this deck. And then of course I will show a couple of hand tests so you can see actual practical hands that this deck can draw. And before we get into it, I do want to let you guys know Discord link down below along with all of our social media links. Also, I'm trying to climb to 14,000 subscribers, so if you do enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh! content, you like what you see here, feel free to like and subscribe, it really helps me out and what I do here on the channel. And without further ado, let's start with some of these combos. Alright, so essentially there's like three main like combo lines I want to go over. There is Twin plus Blue, then there is Twin Twin, and then there is Twin Blue Jet. So. Just going over those, we're going to start with essentially what is the blue blue combo, which is a or a live twin Lilla and a sprite blue and where you get with just these two cards. We're going to start off with normal summoning our live twin Lilla, activating her effect to special summon a kiss a kill frost from our deck. Then we are going to special summon the sprite blue from our hand, activating his effect to add a sprite jet from our deck to our hand. So the combo lines can kind of diverge here, but if you want to play around Nibiru, you're going to want to, like if you want to play around Nibiru by going Gigantic before summon 5, you're going to overlay the blue and the Lilla here for Gigantic. Now if you wanted to do something a little more wild and extend a little further, you can actually turn one of these into Lingaribo and then Special Jet and then get Starter and then keep going. But when I open just blue blue in this case, I don't go for Lingaribo quite often and I will just turn these two into a gigantic sprite. Alright, so gigantic here is summon four and we're going to activate the gigantic's effect to special summon a level two from deck and lock both players into level twos, which will save us essentially from Nibiru. Now if gigantic sprite does get interrupted here, you can very easily just continue with sprite cards and then try to go for regular twin combo. And it's completely fine, but this is attempting to play around a beer. I'm going to detach the Lilla just in case that I like don't have to link off my gigantic sprite per se. Sometimes you will anyways, but you want to make sure you get the Lilla engraved. And then I will special summon sprite red. Now after special summoning sprite red, I will special summon the sprite jet from my hand. And you can do one of two things with the sprite jet. We're going to activate his effect. And here I'll often search a starter because it's really important to me, especially in the boards where we don't end with Lingaribo, that we get to Carrot to save ourselves from evenly matched or any other blowouts potentially. But if you know your hand is filled with other cards, like maybe you drew the Carrot or a starter already, you can of course search your smashers here, but I am going to add Sprite Starter. Next, I'm going to activate the Sprite Starter to special summon the Sprite Carrot from my deck. And now from here, you have essentially played around Nibiru, you've put Red up, you've put Carrot up. Now you can go for your twin combo, so we're going to link off the Jet and the Frost. And the reason earlier we left the Frost on field is so that we're allowed to get our draw, because to get the draw, you need to make the kiss -a kill first. Now we're going to activate the kiss -a kill effect to special summon our live twin Lilla. I'm going to take the Lilla and the kiss -a kill and turn them into an evil twin Lilla. And then evil twin Lilla's effect is going to revive the evil twin kiss -a kill And we're going to activate her effect to draw one card, which will just be a blank in this instance. And then sometimes, depending on like what game it is, whether it's post side deck, where I'm afraid of kaijus, I'll actually leave both twins on the board. Very often you will end up linking one of, or both of your twins off into either one of your twins. If you need a pop you feel like, you will go into Evil Twin kiss -a kill If you want a draw very quickly, you will go into Lilla. And sometimes it depends on what's in your hand, like if you have another Evil Twin in hand, you want to leave that color Evil Twin in your extra deck for follow-up reasons sometimes. So I'll just go kiss -a kill for this combo video. But yeah, this is essentially what you get off just Blue Blue, um, which is a blank and this board, which is a red negate, a carrot negate, a kiss -a kill pop, a draw off your Lilla, and then you're able to tribute the twins for your red and carrot, which is very good as well. And then you have three other cards, well, four other cards in addition to this. So that is what you get off of blue blue. Also important to mention, you get another draw off your frost, which is again, one of the best things about the twin package is how many draws you end up getting. All right, now we will start with twin, blue, and jet. Now this jet doesn't actually have to be jet, it just needs to be like an additional level 2 extender. Um, so there are variations of these combos, but 
both uh, twin plus blue plus jet and twin twin plus blue or jet are the same combo. This will get you to what I call like the maximum end board. Um, actually, preferably, I would like to do this with two twins. They both get you to the same exact spot, so it's not a big deal. Um, but like if you open this per se, this will also get you to your end board, and that is where we are trying to get. And this is like the highest ceiling end board, but it may play into more hand traps depending on how you play it. Um, of course, either one of these can be your copy of uh, Sunny Snitch as well, so you have a lot of ways to open this. And this can actually be Jet as well here. So either way, we'll get you to where this end board is. So this will be our opening hand. We will normal summon our live twin Lilla, activate her effect to special summon a kiss -a kill from deck. Next, we will turn our live twin kiss -a kill into a Lingaribo. Now Lingaribo is something I really like to end on my board uh, because like there's so many instances where this little guy is just so good. One, he's protecting us from Imperm for the rest of this turn. He protects us from evenly matched or drawn imperms on the next turn. If you end up playing against Trap Tricks or Labyrinth, he's actually just phenomenal on your end board. And there's a lot of ways to protect him. So I do like ending with Lingaribo. It saves you from a lot of board breakers, especially game two and three. Um, or even playing into a board, this can be very nice as well because Lingaribo is so good. Now there's actually another option where you cannot make the Lingaribo just yet and like special the blue first, just in case if blue gets hand trapped, you can then just funnel into a gigantic line and still play under Nibiru. Um, because now we're going to have to have like blue to resolve to 100% guarantee play around Nibiru. So we're going to special summon the sprite blue, activate his effect, and we're going to add the sprite red. And red on the fifth summon will protect us from Nibiru as long as the blue resolves. So we will special summon our sprite red. Then we will special summon our frost right under the Lingaribo zone. This is your safe zone if you've made Lingaribo is like right under him. Next we are going to take the Lilla and the sprite blue and overlay into our gigantic sprite. All right, now we're gonna activate Gigantic Sprite, and there's a couple of different lines here as well, depending on if they hand trap Gigantic or not. So if they Ash Blossom, I usually choose not to negate with red because I'm still afraid of Nibiru. Uh, and if they're going to hand trap the Gigantic Sprite here, like if they're gonna activate Nibiru right now, you'll red tribute the Frost to stop Nibiru, and then Gigantic will go ahead and special another kiss -a kill from your deck. However, if all things go according to plan, uh, you're gonna get your gigantic effect, but again, if it's like Ash, I'll actually just take my Frost and my Gigantic and I'll just twin combo from there. But we're doing these combos to show you where you actually get, so Gigantic is going to resolve in this combo, detaching the Lilla. And we're going to special summon a Sprite Jet. Now, Jet will activate his effect once again to get Sprite Starter because, again, I want to access Carrot. But again, if you had any of these pieces already drawn in hand, you can just go get the Smashers here. Now, I will activate Sprite Starter to special summon the Sprite Carrot. Then I will link off the Jet and the Frost to go into our Kiss a Kill. And then from here, it is standard twin combo. We will use Kiss a Kill effect to bring back the Lilla. Link these off go into Evil Twin Lilla, Evil Twin Lilla effect, special kiss a kill, get a draw, which in this case is a talent, and then you can link these off for either one of themselves, as we discussed in the previous combo, or you can leave them on field for your red and carrot. Depends if you're afraid of kaijus or what you're really playing around, but yep, that is where you get with either a twin plus blue and jet or a level two extender, or twin twin plus blue and or jet. All right, so the last like standard combo I wanna show is actually twin twin, which is, you know, any normal summon twin plus an extender. We do play the frost and the treat in this list, so it can happen a bunch of different ways. You can open the regular live twin kiss a kill with a Lilla treat or like this or any copy of either with a sunny snitch. There's a lot of different ways to see just twin twin. And this combo is probably like the weakest to hand traps, but it usually will still result in the same end board. Uh, not as explosive as the others, but you're still going to get somewhere off this. And in my profile, I actually mentioned I cut a card from my extra deck that is really helpful when you open just Twin Twin, but it doesn't come up too often, so I cut it, and I'll sort of explain that when I go through this combo. So we're going to start the same as always. We're going to normal summon the Lilla, and we're going to special summon the Live Twin kiss -a kill Then we're able to special summon the Frost in the zone I like to keep safe, which is right under there. Then I will overlay both of these for Gigantic Sprite. Now this is summon four, so we are gonna be safe from Nibiru if Gigantic resolves. 
If Gigantic gets negated by something, I mean, we only open Twin Twins, so all we're going to do past this point is be able to full Twin Combo through a Hand Trap, which is still very nice. Uh, and then you're actually allowed to make Trouble Sunny because Gigantic was like, if it's negated by something like Ash, Imperm, or Effect Veil, you're able to go tr Trouble Sunny in this combo, which is great. Um, but for the sake of this combo, we're going to let this resolve, so Gigantic is going to activate. Special Summoning a Sprite Blue. Sprite Blue will activate, and it's going to add a Sprite Jet. We'll special the jet to add a copy of Sprite Starter. Now here is where the extra deck card like really comes up for this. Uh, normally, if you're running it how like my extra deck was before I took IP Masquerina out, when you open Twin Twin, you want something to do with both the jet and the blue. So I would normally turn these into an IP Masquerina, or if you're running Gin Buster, you can turn these into Gin Buster. However, I was not playing either in my list. So my twin twin combo is a little different, but if you choose to play IP or Gen Buster, just know you will turn both of these into either one of those, and then you will turn these into Kiss a Kill to twin combo. But since I'm not doing that, we're going to play a little different. We're actually able to keep Gigantic Sprite for follow up or a very you know good red negate, right? So we're going to go Sprite Starter. Um, now you can go red or Carrot. I actually would rather go Carrot in a lot of my end boards just because it's a little safer uh, against you know any good blowouts, so I'll special the carrot, but you can also get red here if you like. Then I will turn the kiss -a kill and the jet, it just has less defense, so I guess I'll choose that one. And then I will go for regular twin combo, which will, you know, we'll special summon the kiss -a kill bring back the Lilla that's in our grave, uh, and then we'll link off the Lilla and the kiss -a kill for the evil twin Lilla, we'll bring back the kiss -a kill get a random draw, uh, and then we'll link these off into another one. Uh, but yeah, that was all the like standard combos I wanted to show just so you guys can see sort of where your lines will go based on your opening. Of course, if you open a bunch of engine, you know, different things can happen, but this is essentially where you're trying to get and with any reasonable hand. So now I'm gonna go through a couple of test hands to show you guys like the functional, practical hands you may get with this deck uh, rather than just show off some combos because you know, based on different cards you open, what you search and how you do your combo will be entirely different. Like what hand traps you play around, uh, things like that. So I'm gonna give the deck just a quick shuffle here and then we will hop into some test hands. And yeah, uh, one big thing about this deck is the scariest thing going into it is not drawing like any of your like engine and just a bunch of hand traps. You do play 15 defensive cards, so a lot of hands will be good going second hopefully, but uh, you will draw the hands sometimes that lack some engine, and then the hands where you don't draw a live twin are definitely some of your weaker hands because you have to like invest a lot of resources essentially into uh, Sprin Gigantic to get your twin combo going. Hopefully we draw one of those so I can show you guys essentially what that is, or if not, I'll just end up explaining it. But yeah, we'll go to the first hand here and we will draw a Secret Password, a Sprite Red, an Effect Veiler, another Sprite Red, and a Starter. So this hand is fine, Double Red is weird, um, but essentially we have seen variations of this before because Secret Password, we're going to activate it, if I move the hand down a little bit, activate the Secret Password to add a Sunny Snitch, which we will activate the Sunny Snitch to grab a copy of our Live Twin Leela. And then we have essentially, you know, some variation of the combos you've already seen where we normal summon the Leela, and we won't be able to go for our um, like Lingaribo because we're gonna need to activate the starter kind of early. But we also have red early, which is very nice. It means we can play around hand traps a little different. Uh, and we'll definitely be able to probably add smashers with this hand. Um, but yeah, that, that's hand number one. Again, most of these combos we've already seen because they're the combos I showed earlier, just in different variations. So we'll be able to go through quite a few hand tests here. Uh, again, I just want to show like the consistency through multiple hand tests, show you guys really just how consistent this deck is. Like again, there's only one downside, which is drawing like too much non-engine uh, or potentially even just drawing multiple sprites. But at least multiple sprites, you get a lot of value off your sprite monsters and then you're still able to get into your twin combo. So it's not that bad. And yeah, so we'll just hop into another test hand here uh, after giving it a quick cut. And we will draw Sprite Smashers, Infinite Impermanence, Triple Tactics Talent, Sunny Snitch, and Starter. So the last two cards definitely save this hand. Um, but yeah, this hand is honestly insane. Obviously, you don't really want to open the Smashers like as much as possible. We have two Go Second cards in the Tactics and Imperm, so that's pretty good. 
Uh, and then of course we have Sunny Snitch plus Starter, which is essentially just twin combo with a starter. Again, this hand won't get you to linger Evo because you'll be locked into two too early. But this is very similar to just opening blue blue that I showed in my very first combo. And if they hand trap you anywhere, you get to tactics. So yeah, overall a very solid hand here as well. Hopping into the next one, and I think, you know, only two hands, but you can see a, what this deck is attempting to do. You're trying to draw one to three, like, defensive cards, really two to three defensive cards, like two or three hand traps, or a, a talents in this case, uh, with two to three engine cards, like, opening, like, Lilla plus blue and three hand traps feels insanely good, and that's what this deck is trying to do. Uh, or like three, like, starter, extender, extender, uh, two hand traps is also extremely solid, so... That is sort of the goal of this deck. We'll go through another hand trap here and we draw Ash Blossom, Effect Veiler, Sunny Snitch, Carrot, and Ash Blossom. So double Ash feels a little bad, but we do have two hand traps on our opponent's turn and then one hand trap for follow-up. And sometimes multiple Ash can actually be very good. Uh, and then we have Sunny Snitch plus Carrot. So this hand's a little weak to hand traps. Uh, we go Sunny Snitch and of course we add a Lilla um, to try and get into our Frost. Uh, so you add the little normal summon her, and if she gets negated, you can still go for carrot, special summon carrot, go for gigantic, and try to special frost from your deck to still do twin combo. Uh, so you have essentially starter plus an extender, but you really hope your twin goes off so you get to end your board with carrot. Um, and yeah, that's another test hand. Probably go for one more test hand, and then I will show you guys what you do if you don't open a live twin, but you want to get to your twin combo. Maybe that should have been at the beginning, but it's not something that comes up often. I, this list was on 12 twins, which gives you like an 85 plus chance to draw one opening turn. So yeah, and then going second, it's even higher. Uh, but it does happen and you need to know what to do. Sometimes you actually need to like, if you open just starter, you're actually gonna have to normal summon a hand trap in your hand. So that's never fun, but it is something that comes up to go for the sprint line. So, going through one more test hand here, we, okay, we draw Blue and Sunny Snitch, Secret Password, and we do play the Home, which is one reason I like to play the Home, is you don't want to open multiple of the same name card, right? Because it's just like opening with one less card, so this can get Home if we get interrupted, like, you know, really hard. Effect Veiler and a Kiss Kill. So we opened a lot of gas, like we can Normal Summon Kiss a Kill, if she gets negated somehow, you can uh, Sunny Snitch for your... Like, say we're going, I guess, second in this hand, right? And, you know, we'll draw another card. Well, that's really crazy. Say we use Veiler on their turn. We can Imperm something. This, this hand is just so gas. Imperm something. We can normal summon Kiss Kill. Say they Imperm her. Then we can Sunny Snitch. Let's move these down. Sunny Snitch for the Treat. Then we can Special Summon the Treat. You don't even have to summon the Treat yet. You can also just go for Blue. Go for Blue. Say you get your Search. And you get to, I don't know, add Sprite Jet, because Jet's pretty good. Um, then we, like, say they, I don't know, they're playing Branded and they Guardian Chimera, or they're playing Sword Soul and they black out this. Like, you're in a kind of a tough spot. Uh, we can actually still keep going because we run home. So Secret Password, we can add the Live Twin Home. Uh, then we can go for Live Twin Home, discarding the Lilla. So we discard the Lilla, and the one we activated was the kiss -a kill so now we can actually go and activate the kiss -a kill or, uh, excuse me, the Lilla from our deck to special summon the Frost, and like you see, even past, even using Veiler, Imperm, and playing through multiple interruptions, we're still going because of Live Twin Home. Now you can only special summon Evil Twin Monsters, but you can still special Jet to get either Starter for an Interrupt, or you can go for Smashers to keep playing through their board because we did uh, have a Sprite Blue in Graveyard here. And then you just go for Twin Combo, which is like a pop, a send, and like you just played through what was probably like five or six really hard interrupts and still got to an end board, which is really impressive for a deck like Sprite, which is so known for like not being able to play past its like normal summon essentially. Uh, and yeah, so that was a little bit of a ghost second hand because that hand was absolute gas, uh, yeah. And that's how, like, with almost just engine, I mean, we had Baylor and Imperm, which probably helped us a lot. Uh, but, like, even with just your engine, you're able to play through a lot. So, now I'm going to show you guys what you do with essentially, like, just starter and a hand trap, we'll say. Uh, this is also what happens if you just open multiple sprite monsters, but no twin. The, the objective of this hand is to show you what you do when you open no twin. 
Uh, so you're gonna go for starter here, get the blue, blue effect, add the jet, jet effect, you can add probably another starter because it's gonna be follow up. I mean, your hand was pretty weak if you're opening like this, so starter's probably better than smashers here. Uh, and then you're going to take, or you're gonna normal summon the effect veiler. This is in our hand. Normal summon the effect veiler, turn the blue and the veiler into your sprite sprint. And this is like the only line where sprint comes up is when you don't open a twin. So we're gonna make the sprint. Sprint effect is going to dump a Lilla from our deck. I usually dump a regular Lilla because I want to save the tree as an extender in case I'm in a situation where I need to activate Sunny Snitch to get it. Now that you've dumped Lilla, you will overlay the Jet and the Sprint into Gigantic. Activate this effect, detaching um, the Jet because obviously we would want a big Gigantic. Uh, to Special Summon the Kiss a Kill Frost. And then from here you have gained access to both of your twins. So you have a Kiss a Kill and a Lilla. And you're able to just go for twin combo. If this gets negated, it's really rough because, I mean, you have like a 3200 Gigantic hopefully to survive because if you didn't open any twin, just a bunch of sprites, you usually have like three or four flex spots in your hand. But this is how you get to your twin combo, even if you don't draw any. And yep, that is going to be it for this combo video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this guy like sort of showed you how to play evil twin if you weren't aware or how to play live twin sprite anyways. Uh, yeah, the deck's a lot of fun. It's pretty solid overall. Uh, again, it treated me quite well at the regional this past weekend, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. This has been Aaron from Top Tier Gaming. Bye, YouTube.